there? Cherry. Cherry who? Cause you're the apple to my pie. You're the straw to my berry. You're the smoke to my high. Good afternoon, Dr. Cherry. Now, good humor is very important to me, not just as a person, but also as a teacher. And I believe that it is a very important character to trait to have, and it's also an important social skill to have. So one of my goals as a teacher is to develop good humor in my students. So we do this, we do this through a habit or a routine we have in class. So every day at the beginning of my class, I always start with prayer. Now this is also another very important character trait to have because this teaches my students to value the gift and the privilege of prayer. Now, my, we are allowed to do this because um, we, I, I teach at a Christian school. So every day at the beginning of the class, one student volunteers to lead the class into prayer. And after that person prays, that student is able to, or will be able to tell a joke in front of his or her classmates. So I believe that this is very, although at first it may be daunting for the students to come up to the front and tell jokes, I think it's very important because they learn good humor, they learn to be funny, which is, again, as I mentioned earlier, very important. It also teaches them that sometimes people don't laugh at their jokes, sometimes people don't think you're funny, and that's okay. Sometimes you think you're funny, and sometimes it's enough that you think you are. What's important is that humor is part of who you are, and you don't take life too seriously. Because I believe that even God has a sense of humor. So I allow them to tell different kinds of jokes. It can be a knock-knock joke. It can be a pickup line. It can be a, a any regular kind of joke. Sometimes I allow them to tell the joke in Cebuano or Tagalog. Because sometimes the joke doesn't work well in English. So they have to tell it in Cebuano or Tagalog. And it makes it even funnier. So. Um, one of the results of this is that when the classmates laugh, it builds self-esteem in the student. It makes them feel like, oh, I'm funny. My classmates like my joke. And it makes them closer somehow to each other. And one of the reasons why I encourage joke telling in class is because, as I mentioned earlier, I don't want them to take life too seriously. Although I do tell them that there is a time for everything. There is a time to be serious and a time to make jokes, to be funny, to be humorous. And I want them to find the equilibrium between both being serious and being funny. And another reason why I tell jokes is because sometimes I think that um, some of them are too serious with studies. If something bad happens to them, they immediately get very um, embarrassed about what they did. And I want them to learn to be able to laugh at their own mistakes. But it doesn't stop there. After laughing at their own mistakes, I want them to be able to learn from their mistakes. So that is one of the reasons why I encourage jokes in class and I teach humor as a teacher. That's all. Hi there, my name is Althea and today we're going to be talking about the audio lingual method in English language teaching. I hope you find this video informative and entertaining. Enjoy! When you hear the words audio lingual method, what comes into mind? Let's review the history of audio lingual method. The audio lingual method, or ALM, had its early beginnings during the Second World War. It is also called the Army Method and is influenced by B.F. Skinner's theory of behaviorism, which includes stimulus, response, and reinforcement. Its principles include error-free utterance, development of the four skills, and structures pattern repetitive drills. The teaching practices here involve presentation, practice, and production. The role of a teacher in the audiolingual method is central and active. The teacher is the model of the target language, and the teacher also monitors performance. On the other hand, the role of the student is more reactive. They do not initiate interaction, and they are directed by the teacher. 
The benefits of ALM include accessibility, especially for large classes, drilling, and intensive practice. The maxim of ALM is, it's only by speaking that speaking is learned. On the other hand, the disadvantages include boredom, as learners do not have control over the content or the materials used in class. In order for you to get better insight into how the audio lingual method is used in an actual classroom setting, here is a video I have prepared for you. Enjoy! Good morning, class. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Today, today's lesson is going to be about two people, about a salesman, a special kind of a salesman. Now, you know what a salesman is. That's a person who sells something to somebody else, a salesman. We're going to, uh, today the salesman is a vacuum cleaner salesman, and the other person, here's the vacuum cleaner salesman, and let me write that. The other person is a woman, or we could, we could call her a housewife. So now, I want you to just listen and watch what I do. Listen carefully, watch what I do, and try to understand, okay? Now, I'm the salesman now, okay? I'm going to be both people. I'm going to play two roles. I'm going to be the salesman and the woman. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Now, the woman. Hello? Hello, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. No, I don't. Salesman. What? Why not? Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Oh. Okay, now listen, and I'll do it one more time. You just listen and, and don't talk this time. Listen again, I'll do it one more time. Salesman. Rings the bell. Woman. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. The woman said, No, I don't. Salesman says, what? Why not? And the woman says, because my husband does the cleaning in our house. And the salesman says, oh. All right. Now, we're going to learn this together now. I'm going to help you learn how to say this whole dialogue, OK? So please repeat. The first line is the woman says, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The salesman says, Good morning. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Good morning. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Okay. House in town. Just say that much. House in town. The cleanest house in town. The cleanest house in town. Okay. Now just group D here. The cleanest house in town. A, the cleanest, the cleanest house in, <laughs> that's okay. The cleanest house in town. 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 Okay, now just you. The cleanest house in town. 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 Cleanest. Cleanest. The cleanest 
house in town. The cleanest house in town. Good, very good. Okay. This group, the cleanest house in town. 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 Ah, no, just right now, just this group, okay? That's good. In a minute, in a minute. The cleanest house in town. Just the cleanest house in town. You, ma'am. The cleanest house in town. Hmm. The cleanest house in town. Good. Everybody, the cleanest house in town. The cleanest, the cleanest house, house in town. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Okay. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Good. Okay, you. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? The the cleanest house in town. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Good. Okay. From the beginning now the this the um the woman says good morning. Uh, everybody, good morning. Good morning. The salesman says, "Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town?" Good, good morning, morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Okay, good. Now the woman says, "Yes, of course I would." Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. All right, this half of the class. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. This half. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. You please. Yes, of course I would. 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 Yes, you have to say it with say it with feeling, right? Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Thank you. You, sir. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Okay, everybody. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Salesman says, "Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner." Then, madam, you need the amazing vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Hoover vacuum cleaner. Hoover vacuum cleaner. The amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. The amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Okay, this group. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. All right, you. The uh, then then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Good. Very good. Very good. All right, you try it. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Very good. Everybody. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Now you remember that we don't write down these dialogues as we're saying them, because at the end of the class, I will give you a copy so you can read it. Right now, concentrate on memorizing it. Just from the sounds, okay, and later you'll be able to see it in writing. So from the beginning, the woman says, "Good morning." Good morning. The man says, "Good morning, madam." Good morning. Okay. Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Then you need the ama. Then, madam. You need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. No, I don't. No, I don't. What? Why not? What? what? Why not? What? Why not? What? what? Why not? What? Why not? Yeah. What? Why not? What? Why not? Okay. Use the gesture. See. What? What? Why not? What? Why not? Try, try it with your hands. Use your hands. What? Why not? Yeah. What? Why not? And your shoulders. See my shoulders. Why not? What? Why not? Okay. Everybody together. What? Why not? What? Why not? Okay. And the woman says, because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. In our house. In our house. The cleaning in our house. The cleaning in our house. My husband does the cleaning in our house. My husband does the cleaning in our house. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. This group here, please. Just you. Just this group. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. 
Okay, listen to me. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Now, wait, wait. Okay, just you, please. You try it. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Does. Does. Does the cleaning. Does the cleaning. Does the cleaning. Now again, because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Good, very good. Everybody, because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. And then the salesman says, oh. Oh. No, he's sad. Oh. Oh. I will, I will be the, I will be the salesman, and you, all of you, will be the woman, okay? I'm the salesman. So, I ring the bell. Ring, 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 ring. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. No, no. I don't need it. What? Why not? Because my husband finds a new house. Oh. Okay, now, now we'll change. And you will be the salesman, and I will be the, uh, the woman, okay? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ah. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? The cleanest house in town. The cleanest house in town. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. The amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner? No, I don't. Why not? Why not? Because my husband does the cleaning in our house. My husband does the cleaning in our house. All right, can we have uh, two volunteers? Two volunteers, come up, please. And how about a woman now? And yes. Hassan, you can be the salesman. Okay. Here she is. And we need a woman. Sonia? Please. Oh, just you begin. Uh, ring the bell. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Of course. Then, then we, I got the Hover, amazing Hover vacuum cleaner. Then you need this. You need the amazing Hover vacuum cleaner. Oh, no, I don't. What? Why not? What? Why not? <laughs> because my husband does the cleaning in our house. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't sell it. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> the next one. <coughs> Can we have two more people, please? <coughs> two more people to do this. Two more volunteers, two more brave, courageous volunteers. Here's one. What are you? You want to be the salesman? Yeah. Saleswoman. Okay. And you, come on. Yes. Yes, you're the housewife. My wife said Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Ma would you like to have uh would you, would you like to have, to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, I do. Of course I would. Of course, of course I would. Uh, then you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Oh, I don't. Why? Uh, what not? Because I, my husband does <laughs> the cleaning in my in our house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're going to do a little grammar practice, grammar practice, okay? Um, would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Prettiest house. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Good. Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Greenest lawn. Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Good. Okay. Now, again, this time individual people. Okay. We'll do it again. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? 
Would you like to have the cleanest house down? Cleanest. Cleanest. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Do you like to have the, the cleanest house down? In town? In town. Okay, good. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Do you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would. Would you like? Would you like to clean house? <laughs> okay, wait. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have a cleanest uh, house in town? The cleanest house in town. The, uh, the cleanest uh, house in town. Okay. Everybody, would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Okay, now you try again, please. To have, to have to clean the, the cleanest, cleanest house, house in house. town. Okay, everybody, would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? The prettiest house. Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Good. The biggest car. Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Good. The biggest car. Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Greenest lawn. Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Very good. Very good. Now, I will ask the question, would you like to have the, the cleanest house in town? You answer, yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Okay, I ask the question, you give the answer. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Would you like to have the biggest car in town? Yes, of course I would. Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Would you like to have the prettiest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Now you ask me the questions. Cleanest house, ask me the question. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Prettiest house. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Biggest car. Would you like to have the biggest car in town? Yes, of course I would. The greenest lawn. Would you like to have the greenest lawn in town? Yes, I, of course, of course I would, yes. <laughs> it's only now, at the end of the grammar drilling, that the students see the printed word. Okay, now, this time I'll read it, and then you repeat after me. Read it and repeat, okay? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Good morning, madam. Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Would you like to have the cleanest house in town? Yes, of course I would. Yes, of course I would. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. Then, madam, you need the amazing Hoover vacuum cleaner. No, I don't. No, I don't. What? Why not? What? Why not? Because, you see, my husband does the cleaning in our house. Because, you see, my husband does the cleaning in our house. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, now, for your homework for tomorrow, I want you to memorize this. Okay. Memorize it. And tomorrow, in class tomorrow, I'm going to ask you to say this perfectly, with no mistakes, without the paper. Okay. You understand? Yes, yes. So your homework tonight is to memorize this perfectly. Here is another video. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 No, no, no. Let's break it down. I, uh, I, I would, 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 would. Like, 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 two, 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 bye, 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 a, a, hamburger, 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 a hamburger, 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 ham, ham, bur, bur, gur, gur. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. It's not damburger, hamburger. I'm not saying damburger. I said I would like to buy a damburger. 
I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the hamburger. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. We do not quit. Again, again. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the burger. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 I hope you were able to learn more about the audio lingual method in English language teaching through this video. Thank you for watching.